Our next presenter is Mr. CPS CPS Dalpatadu. He is a final year, uh, third year KDU student at the Faculty of Engineering. And the title of the paper is Analysis of uh, Speed Drop in ADSL Lines in Sri Lanka. May I invite uh, Mr. Dalpadadu uh, to commence his presentation? My apologies, Ms. Dalpadadu. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my project is on uh, is an analysis of speed drop in ADSL lines in Sri Lanka. Uh, I think you uh, all know what ADSL means. I'll be brief. I'll brief out ADSL. Uh, the it means uh, asymmetric digital subscriber line, and also asymmetric in a sense. Uh, it has very uh, it has. Um, different speeds uplink and downlink and also as we all know it provides simultaneous access of uh, the phone line uh, as well as the internet and uh, this voice and data is splitted uh, by a splitter at the home premises uh, to be more in deep uh, it splits at the uh, local switch also and uh, theoretically it provides a speed of uh, a maximum speed of 9 Mbps uh, downstream and 896 Kbps upstream, but the practical values are more uh, vary, varied. Uh, and the theoretical promising distance of this maximum speed is maximum is 5.5 kilometers, uh, but again the practical values are more or less. And here it shows uh, the the deployment of the network, uh, the ADSL network, both at the customer premises and at the central office. Uh, you can see the splitters uh, both at the um, customer premises and the uh, central office. Uh, and uh, there are various ADS ADSL variants uh, depending on the protocols they use and according to the standards, they, there have been uh, various uh, variations and uh, upgrade upgrade of uh, the speeds and uh, many protocols have been upgraded so that it provides a, a very reliable service to the customers and what Sri Lanka uses ADSL 2 plus uh, where the uh, speed is uh, more higher than what we have at uh, what we had ADSL ADSL light and so on um, uh, this is uh, this is this shows the frequency band of uh, uh, the frequency band. First, we only had uh, the frequency band of three hertz to three thousand four hundred hertz, which was used for the voice communication. But it was discovered that uh, in the copper lines, uh, the the rest was not used. So it was used uh, for the internet access uh, by. Uh, various modulation schemes and all, and uh, and using the splitter, these um, frequencies are splitted, as I said, in the home premises we can find. Um, and uh, the modulation scheme that is used in uh, this technology is uh, the discrete multitone modulation, which is a variation of frequency division multiplexing. Uh, and uh, in this in this modulation, the cha there are Several channels have been allocated, like uh, the band is uh, distributed among um, various channels, uh, and uh, this channel allocation is done according to the NSI standards. Um, initially, the ADSL, um, the, the DMT modulation has uh, 256 uh, channels, and uh, each channel uh, with a maximum of 15 bits per hertz, and, and also this is depending on the SNR value. Um, and uh, all these channels are not used. Some channels have been allocated as uh, guard bands, 
and for voice, as in says, carriers one to six for voice and guard bands. Um, what ADSL 2 plus does is it has increased the number of channels. It, uh, actually, it has doubled the uh, number of channels. So there are five, 12 channels in, the, um, in, this, in ADSL 2 plus, uh, which eventually has increased the uh, speed, of, uh, speed of ADSL. Um, now, what the problem we face in Sri Lanka is, uh, there are many, many people saying uh, the speed is very low, we don't have a reliable um, internet facility at home and all. Although the, uh, the services providers are saying uh, we are giving a higher speed, so we have to we, the, we had to analyze why these people, why the customers are saying why uh, they don't have a guaranteed speed. So um, the the distances, eventually, like the distances, a uh, inherent factor to ADSL. Uh, when the distance is increasing, the speed is reducing. So uh, this shows how the. Uh, the speed, how the speed varies uh, with the uh, with the distance, with distance in the sense from the local exchange to the customer premises. Uh, in Sri Lanka, um, the serv the service providers are um, guaranteeing a speed of the maximum speed only up to two kilometers and three kilometers. But uh, according to this chart, uh, most of the customers like 70% of the customers are within two kilometer radius. And uh, minimum of 10% 10, 10 customers are uh, above four kilometer radius. And these 10% customers are facing this, uh, uh, the speed drop very tightly. They, they experience this speed drop. And, um, and also the 20% Customers of uh, within the radius two to four kilometers, they also have uh, experiences uh, low speed due to the distance, and the cu complaints coming from 70% uh, sector, that is the customers within within the two kilometer radius. Uh, their complaints are mainly depending on uh, on the line quality of, of the ADSL lines, like the copper 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 cable quality. And also, major part of these uh, their complaining complaints are because are the uh, home premises compla complaints because their their splitters have problems, their modems have problems. Sometimes their although the speed is the speed of the uh, is the speed of their ADSL connection is high. The the web pages they are browsing might be slow, so it ha it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, service provider. Uh, in our country, it has to do with the uh, the web pages, like the servers. Uh, and also another problem is the bridge taps. Bridge taps are not common in Sri Lanka, but uh, uh, the the bridge taps are uh, can be seen in the home premises. Uh, the bridge taps ca cannot be seen in the the in the deployment from uh, the local exchange to the uh, home premises, but. Uh, can be seen in the home premises itself. Like, um, say, if you have uh, the uh, the telephone, like the copper connect copper line from the uh, from the road to your house, then uh, and say you want to have three uh, extensions at your home, and uh, you only use two of them, and one uh, uh, one of one line will be remaining uh, for some future use or something. So. At there, uh, there is some dead end, and also at that place, these br the bridge tap uh, is coming there. At this place, there there is uh, a, like um, there are reflections occurring, as in the uh, the diagram here. Uh, these reflections, the si signal reflections, cause distractions to the uh, the main signal coming from the exchange, and it cause eco problems. These eco problems are. Uh, these eco problems are a problem for the modem to identify. Some modems are there. Uh, I don't uh, like uh, some modems are there which can identify the eco problems and cancel out them. But uh, most of the modems uh, they cannot identify these eco problems. So uh, then there there the um, the speed drop will occur eventually. Like if you reduce one bridge tap. Uh, that you can find in your home premises, then you can uh, roughly increase uh, the speed up 
uh, two times increase the speed. Again, uh, the cross talks, they are eventually, they, they, these can be found in the lines. Uh, there are two types of cross talks, and all these cross talks are, uh, you can find in both at the uh, customer premises and as well as the uh, telephone exchange. Um, the next the next important uh, fault that we find in Sri Lankan uh, copper cabling system is the number of joints. Uh, the maximum number of joints allow, allowed so that the so that the customer has a, a reliable service is two to three joints. But in Sri Lankan context, we find like a maximum of uh, seven to eight. But the number of joints can be increased if there are many faults in the. Uh, copper cable, cable. Like if there is a copper cable cut, then they ha they have they don't replace the copper cable. What they do is um, they only have a drop wire connector. And uh, in this diagram, you can see um, the uh, the joint. The, the, the you can find the joint. Like uh, when, this is an underground cable. When you when you come to an um, variation of the cross section, then then you, you can find a joint there. And also, uh, when you go from underground cable to the overhead cable, then again there is another joint. Uh, likewise, there are so many joints coming in, uh, which also degrade the uh, quality of the uh, quality and the speed of the uh, ADSL lines. Um, and this one shows the black box-like thing. It's a drop wire connector, uh, which I said uh, uh, it is used when uh, when there is a copper cable drop. Uh, and here, um, like, when we when we place the drop wire connector, there is a dry joint uh, occurring, like, uh, in near, in future, and uh, there are, there will be leakages, and again, the, the, it distracts the quality of the ADSL lines. Uh, to conclude, uh, I think ADSL is the best choice for high-speed data needs in Sri Lanka, uh, and also we we know that there are drawbacks in this system, so we have to we have to look at these drawbacks and identify and take precautions to minimize these uh, faults so that we can have a reliable uh, internet connection and high-speed internet connection. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, again, just remind, uh, we will be taking the question and answers uh, like, uh, at the end and hope you have actually taken down your queries or anything that you need to ask the presenter. And let's give a hand to the presenter.